I ride a motorcycle all year round and a problem has occurred to me and that is sometimes when I'm riding about I'd get a phone call and I'd have to pull over, take off my gloves just to answer the phone call which can be a bit tedious at times. So I've done this. Have a look at this, this is awesome. So now my motorcycle gloves work with my phone which is pretty cool if you ask me. And how I think this works is that once you remove your layer of adhesive, it leaves behind a layer of graphene which is not visible. And the only reason I think this is because something has changed. These gloves were not able to be used on touchscreen devices, but now they are compatible, which is awesome. So stay tuned to find out how that works. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Working In channel. And the reason why I've come up with this idea today is because the cold weather is just around the corner and I can imagine there's a couple people out there who have a favourite pair of gloves which would definitely not be compatible with touchscreen devices. So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make any glove compatible with a touchscreen device. So what are you going to need? Well to start off with you're going to want some conductive ink which is available on our store which is www.workingink.co.uk Next you're going to want is some, some adhesive and the adhesive I'm using is Copydex. I'm pretty sure that is a latex based adhesive and you can get this online or it's readily available in most, in most hobbies and craft stores. Next you're going to want is a pair of gloves and you're probably going to want a paintbrush. Let's do it. So off the bat I'm going to show you the glove not working on a touchscreen device and then we're going to mix up our materials and then we're going to paint them, peel them off and I'm going to show you it working. So off the bat it does not work. Maybe if I press really hard I might be able to get it working but off they do not work. So what you want to do is you want to get a little pot with the conductive ink and get your adhesive. The ratios that I would recommend is almost one to one. You want a smidge more ink than you want of your adhesive and that should be a good ratio. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it in. A bit more than that. There we go. And we're just going to mix it up. Which is quite fun. So once that's mixed up, which you can see, you've got a little bit of time before it starts to dry and go a bit crumbly. So you want to do this quite quickly. And I'm just going to do the thumb and the finger. So that's what it looks like with the thumb. There we go, the finger's done too. So I'm only going to do these two so we can compare them to the other three fingers and we just want to let that dry. While I'm letting that dry, I'm going to do it with this glove so you can see the difference between two different gloves. And there we go. So now I'm going to leave them to dry and I'm going to cut the video and come back when they're dry and show you the result which is going to be pretty cool. Here's almost the finished product and there's only one more step that we need to do, well technically two more steps that we need to do before this is completely finished and that would be to peel off the latex. So I would recommend wearing gloves, I'm wearing gloves for health and safety reasons. So once you get your gloves on, start peeling it off. You can just go for it, you can do this until it's all off. You can see it just coming off like this. You can see that it's bonded to the actual glove itself, but it should come off pretty easily still. So just keep wiping it until it comes off. If this bit takes a bit too long, I'll skip ahead until I've completely done it. So I can show you the finished result. 
the older latex has been pulled off, which you can see, there's only one more step to do until we're completely finished, and that is to give it a little bit of a wash with a little bit of soap and a bit of water, which I've got in this pot here. That's why I put this cooch cloth down. And all you want to do is dip it in some soapy water and just give it a rub. Make sure you got pretty much all the latex off and make sure that there isn't any residue left on the actual glove itself. There we go. And there we go. Completely finished products. And I'm going to show you this working on my phone just to show you actually how awesome this is because it is pretty cool. So here we go. Put it on. And let's go. Boop. Oh wow, look at that. That is awesome. Wow. That works so perfect. There we go. Let me just quickly let me just quickly type in. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? That is awesome. So let's test the other glove just to make sure that it works. Let's test the other fingers. There we go. Just to show you that the other fingers do not work. There we go. That is awesome. I'm going to quickly show you the other glove now. Just to show you that it does work on different types. Here we go. So here's the other glove I did. And there we go. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that awesome? That is just so cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video everyone. Tell me what you thought about the video in the comments and maybe leave a like. Well, I guess this is the end of the video now, so I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.